what to do when you have a broken battery. This is for the Hubson Mini Pro. Well, all we have to do is just remove the working battery and then 3D print new ones. This is a 3D printed new case. I will show you how I did it later on. This was 3D printed with a resin printer. Many trials and errors to match the exact size. Be careful not to short the battery. Difficult to put it in because I have the camera in between. Okay, this is the battery sleeve, which was also broken. Right? Uh, one of the corners here was broken. And the back of the battery I redesigned it not exactly the same as the original one with all the curvatures, but the main functionality is there so I can use the original There's another one actually broken So let's remove that uh, Foam masking I can remove the button which will fit in the new concoction so let's align it properly. So I took a few 
iterations to get this right. And let's put the masking here for the LEDs. I can save some weight by not putting them, it's alright, but it makes it look nice. So we can hold this back together. See that the battery button works. Right. And the mask also doing its job in masking the, the light all around. Let's put back the tiny screws in. Well, it definitely cost me more than the 50 bucks or so to buy a new battery, but it was just a challenge to use my new resin 3D printer to print something that's useful. So it's, this is a ABS-like resin. Otherwise, the model resin is too brittle do the job. So the printer I used was the Anycubic Photon Ultra, so it's a DLP printer. And the resin I used was the Anycubic ABS-like gray resin I'm very happy with the result actually I've already flown I've already flown the drone with one of these printed sleeves battery sleeves so it works all right. The most important part is the other left, these uh, catches, and they seem to be working very well. So installing it into the Epson Mini Pro, just like an original one. Slides right in. This is just a little bit more chunky or so this is the original one with has a bit of um, fill, fillet there I tried to put those fillets um, I had one model that that had fillets but then uh, all the other stuff wasn't working so I had reiterated this and when I got everything else fitting nicely I just settled to, with this design and I was also thinking of 3d printing this with a FDM printer so that I had flat surfaces rather than square surf, uh, filleted surfaces to sit on so I was thinking of printing it like this which I did some other models so this is an FDM version of it so I reiterated this one to become this one with more filleted points so you can see that it will actually turn on let's turn it back on so yeah so if you want to actually yourself save some money and, uh, instead of buying a new battery pack you can download the um, the STL files for the uh, 3d printed version or the one that I designed.